Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC today for Elephant.nl. We are going to do something that we don't do too often, but since we now are living here in Finnmark in Kirkenes, we have a lot of small lakes, ponds and beautiful areas to test out boats. Today's test is Joystway, the brushless powered uh, monster. This is a catamaran and as you can see beautiful color scheme on this one and also the theming overall just amazing. So here we can see we don't need the box because we have already unboxed it and Due to the video you saw before this one so let's just throw this away and I'm going to tell you guys what was in the box in the box you have a two and three cell battery charger because we uh, got the RTF one you get a three cell battery 2200 milliamp 35 C with uh, XT60 connectors you get a bag of spare parts here you have let me see you see extra propeller and extra xt60 and an allen wrench and so on and also there is a balloon in there which you are going to put your receiver in making it waterproof power cord for uh, the charger and of course a radio uh, i guess this one is a two or three channel radio i believe it's two channel you can see you have dials there cool and it's like a radio for your rc cars uh, very easy to use and control and of course the main thing of it all ta -da! the joyceway monster look at this beauty We're going to take a closer look at it in a few moments. It also comes with a stand that you have to mount yourself, no problem. The total length of the boat is 570 uh, millimeter. The beam is 195 and the speed is rated at about 55 kilometers per hour, uh, give and take. Uh, on how the conditions are. If you want to get up to these speeds, uh, I really would recommend you uh, changing the propeller. Uh, the ones that are on are plastic and they are a bit thick, so a brass propeller would do a little bit more for your boat as well, cutting through the water. So let's just quickly go through things that you need to know before you start up uh, this boat and that is you have to grease up the drive shaft of the boat. It's quite easy to uh, pull it out so I'm going to show you. Here we have the inside and what you want to do is the coupling and uh, the mount for the motor. Screw these and just pull the propeller out and I'm going to do that now while you guys are watching. It's stated in the manual that uh, you're gonna use a spanner key uh, 8 millimeters, that's not true. Um, I had to use 10 millimeters but that is not a problem. So what do you want to do? Um, just hold one of these lock nuts and you will have the other one and just make sure that you tighten this good before you start the boat. So here you have 
This is a, a flex bend shaft. There's an angle here and also one of the reasons that you have these uh, flex drive shafts, if you can call them that. So what we are going to do now is to just dry this off, the old grease, like that. And we are using uh, multi-purpose grease. Uh, this one is Husqvarna, uh, of course, uh, quality, and it does water seal. So we're going to push out a little bit of it because it's tightened. And actually what I do, I can just put it in the tube like that. Beautiful. Now you can see a lot of grease here. And now I will put this flex shaft back into the boat. A lot of grease will come out here. Make sure that we hit. And we can dry off the excessive. Beautiful. Now we have to fasten the coupling again because when you tighten this, it will put arms around the, uh, the flex shaft. And a good indication of this uh, lock nut sort of uh, are loose is when you are losing speed on your boat, then you should get it in as fast as possible and tighten these. Uh, oh, I just forgot what I called them. You wanna uh, unscrew every screw that is connecting to metal, use Loctite on them, make sure that they are nice and tight. The next thing you're gonna do is check all the uh, water hoses uh, and make sure um, that they are connected. Make sure that there's no hard bend on these tubes. Uh, it's super important. And when you are driving your boat for the first time, just make sure that you drive in an easy tempo and that you can see that there is water coming out from let me see the outlet here. Uh, this outlet. Okay. You can see that I put the balloon in there, uh, the uh, receiver, so it won't uh, be damaged if the boat rolls or something like that. Another thing with this boat, uh, which is sort of uh, an okay uh, feature is behind here you can see that there is a let me see there's a flex here sort of an upward rudder and that is if your boat or you are unlucky and the boat capsizes you will have sort of a rudder still but what they are stating is that you can then use a propeller and create a little push so that you can turn the boat around and get it uh, into shore. Uh, do, not do, uh, do not do this constantly. And that means, uh, constantly, that means not full power all the time because you will fry the uh, ESC or even perhaps the motor. So uh, just use it in pulsing uh, manners. And if you're lucky, the wind will get it, of course, into shore. Uh, but um, it's a little nice feature, but I'm not sure if I'm too happy about it because this will also give a little bit of drag when you are uh, running the boat. When it comes to other uh, settings here, uh, you have on the radio uh, travel uh, trims so that you can set how much trim uh, or much travel you have on the uh, uh, rudder, which can be uh, okay to adjust before you drive it, 
or you can test the bot out and see if you have too little response or too much response and you can adjust accordingly, of course. So that is uh, the tip. If you're using it in salt water, you should not use it in salt water, but if you do that, make sure that you rinse it quite good and that you flush the uh, water lines with fresh water uh, before you store it uh, for the next uh, run. Uh, when it comes to um, uh, the hatch, there is a foam ceiling here around, but that is not enough to keep the boat totally dry. So they want you to put some tape all around here before you go uh, driving the boat and that will prevent water from coming inside the boat. There is also a little uh, uh, rubber uh, plug here. Yes. This one you can remove and empty uh, water that has come into the hole of the body. One of the things that we experience um, is that we have been driven boats and cars and airplanes and helicopters for a while. So we like to go straight forward and just punch it to see how fast it can go. Um, what we notice it, it is that the boat is fairly light. So um, it has a tendency of capsizing when you are doing full speed and sharp turns especially if you're driving on your own wave. So uh, be careful with that. That's the only negative thing I have to say about this boat. Uh, just make sure that you do those uh, fast passes straight forward and um, get to know the boat before you start really bashing around with it. Um, the final question though is, is this a good boat for uh, beginners or are these boats for intermediate uh, pilots? I think it's a good beginner boat. Uh, it doesn't have uh, too much of speed. Uh, it's stated that it's 55 kilometers per hour. We haven't uh, got it to that speed yet, but that can be the propeller. So when we are changing the propeller, I think we will be closer to that uh, speed stock out of the box three cell with a 30 amp ESC water cooled of course and a water cooled uh, motor as well um, for a beginner more than enough speed and more than enough fun so we were out testing this boat yesterday and as you could see in our two minute long intro <laughs> uh, we had a lot of fun um, this time I actually did uh, make uh, a storyboard uh, for what I wanted to film and how I wanted to film it. And we were on a very special place actually because uh, we had not a lot of room to move where we were staying. And uh, I, but, but I really wanted to have that uh, backdrop with the small islands and I would uh, do the um, uh, flight as well close to this island where the boat sort of pauses me or uh, drove together with me. Um, we had a lot of tries and errors of course uh, but I feel that the clips came out great. Um, of course, there's something that I haven't uh, taken in consideration and that is the sun. So uh, where we were standing, we had the sun, uh, sun from the wrong side. Um, if we did the same shots in the morning, we would have the sun from the other side and would have better uh, quality, I guess. But overall, I'm quite happy with uh, what we got. And a big thank you to my wife, Elna, uh, my good friend Vilar, that also were piloting uh, the boats. And I were piloting, uh, while I was piloting the uh, um, Super Cub from FMS, and of course our drone. 
So um, I hope you guys did like uh, the video. If there are any questions that's on your mind, uh, just leave it in a comment below. I will try to uh, answer them as quick as possible. Other than that, the links to the products, the links to the plane, the links to the drone, everything will be uh, in the info section. There are no affiliate links going on here. Um, we don't get paid when you click on the links. The links are just to the web shop. Uh, we've got to keep this one as a gift. And thank you to elephant.no for that. I really appreciate it. If you like our channel, please subscribe, smash that like button, help us win over the YouTube algorithm once and for all. Fat chance, but we hope one day. Until next time, see you boys and girls and have a great week.